Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I have for you a new wax review. This is the scent Sexy Bartender from Crumble Co. And it says right under it, Mint Mojito. It doesn't actually have the set description like down here like some of them do. Some of them do, some of them don't. Um, but the gist of it is that it's supposed to smell, I'm assuming, like a mint mojito. And for those of you who don't know, a mojito is muddled, uh, uh, bleh, muddled mint, lime, um, usually a gin, I think. I think gin's in mojito. Um, and then like a simple syrup, which is just sugar and water that's been boiled together into a simple syrup. So that's what a mojito is. This is what the bar looks like on the inside. As you can see, I use three cubes of it. And when you smell it, obviously it doesn't smell like alcohol. It just smells like the mint, the lim um, I almost said lemon, the mint, the lime, and the simple syrup you can smell. And when you smell it in the clamshell, which is what this type of packaging is usually called because it opens like a clam shell. When you smell it like this, it just, it smells amazing. It really, truly smells amazing. It's like sweet, like it's like sweet and sugary. And then there's like some um, like citrusy, like lime. And then I don't really smell the mint too much, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. There's a freshness to it. So maybe that's like where the mint is coming in. But to me, it smells more like a sugary lime. Um. Like I said, it's got a hint of freshness, which might be where like the mint is like hiding, but I think it smells so freaking good. The only problem I have with this particular um, bar of wax is the scent when it's in the warmers is so faint to me. Like I have quite a few wax warmers. One cube goes in my living room, one cube goes in my bedroom, and then I take one cube and cut it in half, and half goes in each one of my children's rooms. Now, when I first did that, it smelled so really good. Like, so very good. Like, in my bedroom and in the kids' rooms, it smelled amazing. The living room, you could kind of smell it, but not as strong. Um, but like I said before in my last, like, review video, my living room, my nose itches. My living room is very open. It's a fairly big open room. So, you know, I kind of get it sometimes when scents, you know, maybe don't throw very well in my living room. This one, though, it was really bad in the living room. Like, you could only smell it if you were, like, right next to the warmer. And that was kind of annoying. Um, yes, it could have been remedied by just putting more wax in there. I'm sure if I would have used maybe two cubes, it would have been good. But just for like, you know, I don't know. I just, I always only put one cube in there. Um, I think I am going to start doing more. And this one too, like this one. It, it's kind of silly sometimes like because I have so many wax warmers if I use more than one cube sometimes I can't use it you know anyway anyway so in the living room I could only really smell it if it's right next to the warmer when I was in the living room I could only smell it if I was standing right next to the warmer my bedroom I could actually smell it pretty decently and in the kids' rooms because the kids' rooms are other than the bathrooms probably the smallest rooms in the house um, so like their room smelled, their rooms, cause they each have their own room, smelled pretty good. My bedroom smelled pretty good. The living room, like I said, you can smell it like hardly at all. Um, but even in like my bedroom and in my kids' rooms, the scent only lasted about two days. So it was like the day I burned it, the next day, the day I burned it, it was amazing. The next day when I turned them back on, because I turned them off at night, um, they smelled decent. Like they still had an okay smell, except for in the living room. In the living room, I could barely smell it, like hardly. 
And then by the third day, um, pretty much just couldn't smell them. Like, I could barely smell them in the kids' rooms. Like, when you first open the door, you could smell it because that's, like, where my son's little warmer is. Like, when you walk into his room, it's, like, right there, like, by his door. Like, because that's one of the ones you just plug in and he's got an Ella that's pretty high up on the wall. So, like, as soon as you walked into his room, you could smell it right there. But, like, if you went over to where his bed is, you couldn't smell it at all. And his room is the smallest room in the house other than the bathroom. Um, his room is the smallest in the house, so the fact that you couldn't smell it on the other side of his room was bad, you know. So this one, I'm so torn because it smells so super good, but like it, the scent only lasts for about three days. For me anyway, I don't know. I don't know. It could have been user error because you're supposed to let these sit and cure for at least two weeks, which I did do. I ordered these and then they sat in a basket for two weeks and I burned other waxes like from Walmart and stuff until these ones were done curing and now I'm slowly using them. But this one lasted, like I said, three days tops for me. So I don't know, maybe if I let it sit longer, it would smell better. Would I recommend this one? Maybe if you only had like a small, like if you had like a small room to um, scent, um, like if you're only going to put these like in one room, like a bedroom or um, maybe even in a bathroom, I think it would be good. They would be good for a couple days. Um, would I buy them again? I don't know. Like part of me like really wants to buy this scent again because I really, really liked it and just buy like two bricks and like double all the wax. Like two cubes of wax in my living room warmer, a whole cube of wax in each one of my kids' rooms. Um, the warmer I have in my bedroom only holds one cube, so only one cube in that one. But you know what I mean? Like I feel like I wanna buy this again, let it cure even longer, and then like use more wax cubes and see if I can get it to really smell good. But then part of me doesn't wanna spend that money on this one even though it does smell really good I don't know I probably won't buy it again but it does smell good it just didn't last for me the scent throw wasn't the best and I mean they they can't all be like winners in like that sense but this one really does smell good so like I said if you just have like one little room like a bedroom or a bathroom you want to scent up and you don't want something super heavy um like for a small room, this one I think would be perfect. So yeah, that is my review. I kind of rambled and I'm sorry about that and I will talk to you later. Bye.